Now more than ever, every action counts. That is the theme of this year's Bell Let's Talk Day. Many of you have already taken part today, raising millions of dollars for mental health programs in this country. It is an important initiative for Bell, the parent company of CTV. The ticker at the bottom of your screen currently shows more than 107 million actions and growing. And the need is significant. According to the Canadian Mental Health Association, 38% of Canadians say their mental health has declined due to COVID-19 and people already struggling are twice as likely to say that mental health has declined during the pandemic. But there are signs of progress. 83% of Canadians now say they feel comfortable speaking with others about mental health. A Toronto woman sharing her story of recovery to end the stigma around bipolar disorder. Caroline Fayen Kwok says peer support has made a major difference. Caroline Kwok was born in Hong Kong in 1951. She was young and married when she came to Canada in 1973, but her marriage ended in 1980. She had a university degree in English literature before coming to Canada, but was left to face the stress of being a new immigrant and life on her own. As you know, as a new Canadian, there's a little bit of uh, hesitation to really to seek help. Kwok says she did get help from a family physician who took her to the hospital where she was diagnosed with bipolar disorder. She said she was ostracized and stigmatized following her diagnosis. And in a reading from her book on recovery, Journeys of Renewed Hope, the 69-year-old reveals how she found hope. Martin Luther King Jr.'s speech in 1963 was what kept me going. Just like Martin Luther King, I also had my dreams. She's written two books. The other, Free to Fly, A Story of Manic Depression. Kwok says it's pursuing her dreams that helped in her recovery. People with mental health symptoms should not deny their issues, but should seek help from their family physicians first. My dreams are to train psychi psychiatric residents to provide person-centered care. She says it's important to see people struggling with mental health as human beings and focus on their strengths and believe in their abilities. The Center for Addiction and Mental Health describes Kwok as a living example of recovery. Mary Deacon has been chair of Bell Let's Talk since the campaign began 11 years ago. She says supporting mental health initiatives is more important than ever because of the pandemic. We're hearing that it's just having a profound impact on everybody's mental health. Those who had mental health issues before the pandemic, but also many more who are now having, for the first time, experiences with anxiety and panic attacks and so on. So, you know, really underscoring that there is no help without mental health. Deacon says Bell Let's Talk donated $5 million to mental health initiatives at the outset of the pandemic, as well as creating a diversity fund and supports for students. Prime Minister Trudeau made a special appearance on CTV's The Social for Bell Let's Talk Day, saying Canada is in a mental health crisis during the pandemic. People are stressed, people are anxious, people are isolated, uh, the, the, the people are tired uh, of the pandemic, of, mm. of having to be limited on everything. It is grinding everyone down. There's no question about it. So uh, we're uh, trying to support and encourage people to be there for each other because that's how we get through this. Mr. Prime Minister, Trudeau's message of support is being echoed by Ontario Premier Doug Ford. I want you to know that you're not alone. If you need help, please reach out. Your mental health is just as important as your physical health. The Premier adding in a statement today on Bell Let's Talk Day, we encourage everyone to get involved, speak out and help break the stigma around mental health. Together, let's continue to build a province where everyone can be fully supported on their journey to mental wellness. And the Bell Let's Talk Day flag was raised over Toronto City Hall this morning, as it is each year. Mayor John Tory says he encourages everyone to join the conversation, tweeting, Mental health is health. Please give your mental health the attention it warrants and deserves. Hashtag Bell Let's Talk. And here's how you can keep participating. Bell will donate five cents to Canadian mental health initiatives for every applicable text, local or long distance call, every tweet and TikTok video using the Bell Let's Talk hashtag, every use of the Bell Let's Talk Facebook frame and Snapchat filter, and every social media view of the Bell Let's Talk Day video. Bell is the parent company of CTV.